Hi guys, it's Emily. I'm here to do my July wrap up, and it should be very short because I only read two books this month, which is kind of ridiculous. But I've just been busy, and I read two very long books. So even though I only read two, I read like a thousand pages this month, which is pretty crazy. So the first book I read was Testament of Friendship by Vera Britton. And I got this in my book haul last month, if you remember that. And it was, uh, it's written by the same author of Testament of Youth, which is one of my favorite books. And it's a continuation of that, of Testament of Youth. So, and it's about Vera Britton's later life and her friendship with Winifred Holtby. And it's 508 pages. It took me about two weeks to get through. It seemed kind of slow. It's not as good as Testament of Youth because of that. But it was still a good book, and I'm glad I read it. And I'm going to be keeping it on my shelves for the time being. The next book I read was one of those books that everyone has read. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And this is 550 pages. It took me another two weeks to read this. Um, if you don't know, this book is about a girl named Liesel who grows up in Nazi Germany and she steals books. And it's narrated by a unique entity. Um, I won't spoil it, but basically it's kind of an unusual narrator. It's a sad book. It's a YA book, but I didn't feel like it was that YA-ish. So, yeah, it was a good book. I gave it four stars. I gave Testament of Friendship three stars. Um, it's a good book if you haven't read it and you like historical fiction, then I definitely recommend it. So that's all I read. The next book I'm planning to read this month is, like, I might get it done, but I'm going on vacation, and I won't have my laptop, so I'm doing this video a little early. But the next book I'm planning to read is Outliers, The Story of Success by Malcolm Gladwell. I've had this on my shelf for a while. I bought it for an extra credit opportunity in undergrad, and then I never did it, so I never read it. But uh, it meets one of the Pop Sugar Challenges, so I'm going to read this on my vacation, and I got several other books I'm going to read as well. I'm also still working on um, the Complete Father Brown series by G.K. Chesterton. I've been reading this since late June, and I read a story a day. It has about 50 stories, so I'm probably going to get this done in like early August, so it'll show up again in my August wrap-up. But yeah, it's a good book. It's just a bunch of mystery stories. Father Brown is a priest in a small English town, and he solves mysteries. So it's pretty entertaining. The stories are pretty short, about 15 pages for each one. There's 718 pages in this whole book, so that's kind of crazy. The last book I'm going to show is The Peabody Sisters by Megan Marshall. I bought this at Half Price Books because they were having... They're 50% off your highest item sale. So I got this, and it only cost me like $3. And I've already read it, but I wanted it for my bookshelf. My mom was like, you're not going to read that again. And I was like, hello, it's $3. I'm still going to buy it. And I might read it again someday. But it's a fantastic book about three sisters, Elizabeth, Mary, and Sophia Peabody, who all had influence on the American romanticism movement. So, three very great ladies. Um, yeah, so if you like worry about strong women, you would like this. And that's all I got for today. I'm probably going to read more than two books in August because I'm going on vacay, vacation for ten days, so I'll probably get like at least four books read. Maybe five. I don't know. I'm taking like four books and my Kindle. So we'll see. But I hope everyone has a good rest of their week and a good start of July, or I mean start of August. Bye, y'all!